In today's episode, we are headed into Dollar Tree to grab various different sizes of canvases to create some beautiful Christmas decor. I hope you enjoy. For this project, we're using one of Dollar Tree's 8x10 canvases. We're going to flip it over and remove the staples that are holding the canvas to the frame. I'm using my heavy duty staple lifter, and I have this listed in my Amazon store. The link to that's in my description box below. If you're interested, it makes it so easy to lift those up and then use a pair of pliers to pull them out. We're going to remove that frame, set it to the side, and we are going to flip over our canvas. Now I'm going to give mine one coat of a white acrylic paint. You may be thinking, well, it's already white, but mine did have a few little spots on it that I wanted to make sure were covered up and that this had a nice bright white base to it. We'll set that to the side and let it dry. I'm going to paint the frame with Waverly's Antique Wax, applying that with a brush and then taking a wet wipe to blend it in and lighten it up a bit. I'm going to do that on the front, the inside and the outside edges and set that to the side and let it dry. I'm also going to be using a piece of wood from Dollar Tree. This is in their crafter square section as well as one of these wooden planks. Now this comes in a pack of six. We're going to apply the same coat of antique wax to both of these pieces and blend that out with the wet wipe. Now that the canvas itself is dry, I'm going to take a pencil and go ahead and draw out a snowman face so we're going to do the outline of the eyes nose and mouth then using an oil based sharpie i'll go over the outline of the eyes and mouth then i'm going to fill in the eyes with some black acrylic paint fill in the nose with a spice pumpkin paint once that black paint has dried i can take some white paint to add to the eyes and then once the orange paint has dried, I can take that oil-based Sharpie, go over the outline of the nose, just in case I got out of the lines any, this will kind of straighten it up. Then I created some cheeks, and I started off with a smaller sponge dauber, and I thought that that was too small, so I went back with a larger one. Then using a fine tip Sharpie, I can add some details to the nose, some eyelashes, and a couple of lines under the eyes. Now that all of our wood pieces are dry, we're going to attach the top part of the frame to the canvas using some hot glue. Then we can flip this over and reinforce that with some staples. So I only applied the hot glue at the top just to hold it in place. Then as I go around, I can pull the canvas very tightly and staple each side. I just did the left and right hand side so that when I got to the bottom, I could just pull that really tightly and everything will stay in place. Then I could set this on a cutting board and using my utility knife, go around and trim the excess canvas off. Now we can take our wood piece. We're going to be placing this at the top of the frame, but you do want to leave some excess of that wood sticking up. So when you attach it with your glue, you'll leave some space right there at the top so that we can take that smaller board and hot glue it in the center of the canvas right there on that piece of wood. And this will create the top of his hat. And this is how it's looking so far. I decided to go back and draw some eyebrows and fill that in with a fine tip Sharpie marker. I'm going to embellish the hat with some greenery and pine cones by hot gluing that down. Add in some red berries and then finish that off with one more pine cone to kind of cover up the stems. For this project, we're using an 8x10 canvas, and I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge to the entire top part as well as the sides. Then we can set that to the side and let it dry. I'm also using a gift bag. This is an absolutely gorgeous gift bag. I love the style, the farmhouse feel of the tractor, but you could pick whatever style you like, a snowman, a Christmas tree, anything will work for this. 
I actually found this bag at Roses, but Dollar Tree carries some very beautiful gift bags. I cut the front of the bag apart, but I did leave some sides and top and bottom because my original idea was to wrap this entire canvas, including the sides with it. I'm going to trim that down a little bit more so it's more manageable and cut that down once I know exactly where the design is going to lay on the canvas. Our Mod Podge is dry, so now we can attach our gift bag to the front of this. I'm going to do that by placing a piece of parchment paper over there using my mini iron and just gently going over that to reactivate the Mod Podge and adhere the bag to the canvas. I'm using the parchment paper because it really helps my iron to glide over top of this and also protects my iron from getting any kind of glue on it. And if you're interested in one of those mini irons, I do have that listed in my Amazon store and the link to that's in my description box below. Once I started looking at it, I really didn't like that candy cane stripe feel on the sides. So I'm gonna set this on my cutting board and using my utility knife, just trim the sides off, but I do wanna wrap the top and bottom so it will have that continuous design. I'm gonna use the same method with the parchment paper and the iron to get that on there. And I did kind of crease it up really well before I did that and I do have a little bit extra and I could trim that off but I just decided to hot glue it to the back and this is how it's looking so far it's white on each of the sides and I think that looks better than the red and white stripe now is the time of year to find these fairy lights at Dollar Tree I like using these because the wire is very thin and the lights are tiny. They're not super bulky. They carry them in a nice warm white as well as a cool white. Now I want the lights to show up in the headlights, the wreath, and the tree. And to get a tiny hole in there so it won't be as visible on the front but that the lights will peek through, I'm using a doll needle and you can find this at Walmart or any craft store just to poke through the gift bag and the canvas. Then I can find the two center lights and to hold the wire in place, I'm going to use some of Dollar Tree's adhesive dots. If you've never used these before, it's just like these little sticky glue pieces that you peel off. And it'll go right over the wire and onto the canvas to hold your lights right over the holes you just poked in there. Then I can determine where I want to put the holes in the tree, but make sure you move your lights out of the way so you don't poke your wire. I can go ahead and put four holes up there. Add my lights just like we previously did, holding them in place with the glue dots. And then I can do the same thing for the wreath in the front and I'll have four lights to put there. Once you have all of your lights in place, the battery pack will sit perfectly right on the back side of the canvas. In Dollar Tree's Plus section, you can find various shaped canvases like this 12 inch round one for $3. I'm going to start by painting the outside edge with two coats of a Christmas red acrylic paint and let that dry. And of course, I'm going to make sure I get in between all of those creases. Once that's dry, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge to the top, making sure I spread this all the way to the edges and put a nice even layer. Then I'll set that to the side and let it dry. Grab a Christmas gift bag, any bag of your choice. Dollar Tree carries some beautiful ones. Again, this one came from Roses. Sometimes you have to make sure that you pull the paper piece on the back to get it as flat as possible. We're only going to use the front part of the gift bag. We are going to line our design up, trace it, and then cut that out. Now we can adhere this to the front of our canvas by using some parchment paper and a mini iron to reactivate the Mod Podge. Make sure you get all of the edges. Start from one side and work your way to the other side. Once that cools off, check to see if you have any excess that needs to be trimmed off. If so, you can use a utility knife. Just be very careful not to cut the canvas itself. 
I decided to add a hanger to mine and I'm going to use some hot glue and some ribbon to reinforce this because it is a pretty heavy piece and this is how it turned out. For this project, we're using a 5x7 canvas from Dollar Tree, as well as some Mod Podge. We're going to adhere that to the outside edges, making sure we get a nice, good layer on all four edges, as well as the front. Then we'll set that to the side and let it dry. We are going to be using some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby that has on the first day of Christmas music on the front in red. Now I do want to wrap my entire canvas with this so since I have a 5x7 I'm going to cut this down to a 7x9. Now that the Mod Podge is dried we're going to center that on our canvas and adhere it using some parchment paper and a mini iron. Let that cool off, then go around and fold all four of your sides down, making sure that you get a crease all the way across. Then you could take your corners and pinch them to create a line on all four corners. So I started with the two long sides first, then the two short sides. Then you could go back, pinch that, make a line. Then you could take your scissors and cut that line. You'll do that for all four corners. Then we're going to take our long side first. We're going to use our iron and adhere it to the side of the canvas. Then we'll flip it over and get the other long side. It's just easier if you do two opposite sides rather than just going all the way around. Then you could cut straight all the way up to the edge to cut that little triangle off. Then you'll repeat that on the other side and then you can fold any excess all the way over. Then we're going to do the same thing at the top and bottom and cut those corners off. Now you'll have a nice clean edge. Then we can fold any remaining over and if you need to trim any little diagonals you can trim that excess off. And to adhere the extra on the back side of the canvas I'm going to use some hot glue. Again, I'm going to do the long side first and then get the opposite side and then I could do the two short sides. So now it is completely wrapped all the way around just like a beautiful Christmas present. And now we can decorate the front of it. I'm using some craft cinnamon sticks that you can find at Hobby Lobby on sale 50% off. Or you could just use a branch out of your yard if you can't find any cinnamon sticks. To cut these, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. It just cuts very easily and then you may have to trim the edges up just a little bit. And I'm going to hot glue these to the front of the canvas and stacking them just a little bit smaller as I go up to create a tree. I didn't measure anything. I just held it in place and just made sure it was a little bit smaller as it went up. Then I'll add one for the tree trunk at the bottom. You guys, this stuff smells so good. I wish you could smell it through the screen. It's just delightful. For the star at the top, I'm using one of Dollar Tree's wooden stars and I'm going to apply a coat of antique wax to that and then wipe most of it off with the baby wipe to help blend the color in with the cinnamon sticks and hot glue this right to the top. And this is how it turned out. For this project we're going to use an 8x10 canvas board. You can find this at Dollar Tree as well as one of their 8x10 canvases with the frame. You just want to make sure that the two of these will line up together. We're going to make a busted canvas. I did this in the fall and I couldn't wait to do this for a Christmas project. 
So we're going to take the canvas itself and on the top part of it and the outside edges, paint that the color of your choice. I chose a bright winter white. And then we're going to use some scrapbook paper. I'm using a red and navy blue. Cut it down so that it will fit on the back side of the canvas. You're going to attach that using some Mod Podge. Just make sure that you spread a nice even layer so that your scrapbook paper will adhere all the way across. Once you have firmly pressed that in there, add another layer of Mod Podge over top of your scrapbook paper. Um, I did put a little bit too much. Just try to make sure you get a nice even coat all the way across and let it dry. On the canvas board, you want to paint that the color of whatever design you're going to put on there. I chose a navy blue and I went in both directions to make sure it was fully covered because I am using this gorgeous Christmas card. You just want to cut the front part of the Christmas card off and we're going to attach that to the canvas board now that the paint is dry using some Mod Podge. Just apply that to the back of your card, center this up on your canvas board, and make sure you press all of the edges down. Now because the card's thick, I'm not worried about putting Mod Podge over that. I want to find the center point on my canvas board so I'll know where to make my initial cut with my utility knife on the actual canvas. Now, I did not let mine completely dry on the scrapbook paper. So once I made this cut all the way across, when I turned it over, I could see some really jagged edges. So if you let yours really thoroughly dry, you shouldn't have that problem. As I'm making the cuts in my canvas, I'll clean those jagged edges up once I can kind of peel it back. I could just use my scissors and clean that. Then I'm going to cut all the way around the canvas. No rhyme or reason, no particular design. I'm just making a bunch of different cuts. And once I have that done and all those edges cleaned up, I'm going to apply some hot glue to the back side of our canvas frame and attach it to our canvas board, making sure we press it all the way around. And don't worry about that paint on the outside. I'm going to clean that up. Now we're going to take our cut pieces. We're going to put some hot glue on the end curl it around and glue it to the canvas itself. You'll do that for each individual piece, making these curls to create the busted canvas. Now, as I was doing that again, because I did not let my Mod Podge thoroughly dry because I was being impatient, I realized that my hot glue was not adhering to the Mod Podge on that scrapbook paper, nor my canvas which turned out to be okay because they continued to keep their shape. So I just pulled all the hot glue off and didn't worry about it. So that was a happy little accident. Now I'm going to take my white acrylic paint and clean up the navy blue on the outside edges that I got on the canvas board on all sides. And then I decided I wanted to add something to the bottom of the canvas. So I'm going to use some gold rope and hot glue that down on the back after I wrap it twice. Then I'm going to do the same thing at the top. And this is how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed today's projects and found tons of inspiration. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love you to click that subscribe button right below the video. If you have a favorite, please let me know in the comment section down below because I always love to know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please take care and I'll see you guys next time.